Uh, next item is item number nine, which is public comment. Items not on this agenda. It is the Council's policy to raise uh, matters in this forum to staff for investigation and their action where appropriate. The Brown Act prohibits the Council from discussing or acting upon any matter not agendized pursuant to state law. Would anyone like to address the Council under public comment? Good evening. Thank you for your time. Um, I'm Steve Seymour from Mastic Avenue. I, I would like for you to consider, there's an ordinance that's been on the books here since 1984, and it's your um, oversized vehicle ordinance, which is ordinance 7-24050 and 7-24010. And what this ordinance does is it, it helps you to uh, kind of hold accountable the oversized vehicles, which is any vehicle greater than 21 feet in length and six feet and six and a half feet uh, wide, uh, 6,000 pounds. These vehicles transition through the avenues particularly, but all through the city. And they're not supposed to be on our public streets unless they're making deliveries. And they're not supposed to park. But what this ordinance does, and, and I spoke to a few of the police officers, and they would also like to see uh, maybe this updated because currently they're only allowed to warn these vehicles when they're parked on these streets. So they place this warning, and this warning allows that truck to stay there for 12 hours before they can cite it. And then all the truck has to do is move for 120 hours. So what's happening now is you have trucks, I mean, really large trucks, and they damage our streets. And then we as taxpayers, I mean, you talked about the budget tonight. We have to find money to repair these things. These trucks shouldn't be in these neighborhoods to begin with. But um, what they're doing is, is they just move a street. So you have one truck, it gets a warning, parks at 7 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night, moves the next morning, doesn't come back to the same street. It goes one street over and then another street over, and then another street over, and then it returns. And all the police can do is warn them every time. They can't cite them. They can't do anything more than that. So I'd like for you to consider taking the steps to update this. Uh, South San Francisco, uh, our neighboring cities, allow for uh, a citation to be placed the first time the truck parks. But we don't. I think it would be beneficial if we changed it. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. Anyone else under public comment? Uh, Tim O'Brien, Florida Avenue. Good evening. Um, I'd like to talk about uh, safety issues throughout the city, especially on where I live, on the east side. Um, as far as the crosswalks and where, it's, where vehicles are supposed to stop, um, I mean, they don't see the stop sign. I mean, I just see people rolling through, especially like on Taylor Avenue and uh, Chapman or Carlton and Texas Avenue. They just don't pay attention to the um, stop signs. They just roll through it, and it's, and it's a real hazard for the, the people that are, you know, the neighbors, the residents, the four-legged kids walking, crossing the uh, streets. So I'd like to see the city um, come out and take a look at that and um, you know, paint the stop signs on the street and the crosswalk to clearly uh, define where the vehicles are supposed to stop so everybody will be safe and nobody will get hurt and um, let's be a safer neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Good evening. Uh, good evening, King Arena at Florida Avenue. I echo what my husband have, has addressed. I also would like to uh, publicly announce that um, my husband and I would like to adopt our Commodore um, dog park. And um, it seemed like a lot of folks and the community has also come forward that they want to help, okay? I also would like the city to also help 
and keeping the, the park, um, the dog park clean. And um, hopefully we get the opportunity to adopt the park. I would like to, we would like to basically enhance it and see what we want to work with the city and see if um, we can get some budget to improve it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Sandra Perez, Vargas Mastic. And I want to say that we have a new application now at our insistence uh, late last year at one of our sessions. We've been asking for a real-time app so we can report situations in the neighborhood. That came about because a group of people came here in front of you and pretty much demanded a change. Uh, before that, it was like pulling teeth for the last 20 years to really get anything accomplished. Perfect example is the Salvation Army. For over 20 years, it was a major dumping ground. It wasn't until a group of us showed up here together in, in a force, in numbers, and asked that the city actually help us keeping, we're cleaning the streets, we're cleaning Commodore Park still, we're doing things like that. So I wanna encourage anybody who's sitting at home to come and join us here, because when we do show up in numbers, changes are happening. We did um, ask for a truck to come and pick up mattresses and sofas and miscellaneous garbage all over town. And that was allowed to happen for so long until a group of us came here and said it's no longer acceptable. So hopefully this marks a change and another change that could be marked with elections coming up. Everybody register to vote. If you don't like how San Bruno's been run for the last 20 years, make your voices heard. We, I mean, we're the residents, right? And as far as the, um, the newspaper announcement you said with the restaurants, I think it's fantastic to get any attention to the restaurants because a lot of locals won't go to San Mateo Avenue because it's filthy. We still have the same newspaper stands that we've been talking about for months and months. Have they been ordered? I have no idea. We've been told garbage cans have been ordered with recycling bins, have they? I have no idea. So we have a long, long way to go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else under public comment?